our first comedian coming up, uh, he is actually a guest from far, far away. And he's gonna tell you where he is from. So make a loud noise for Charlie Kasov, everybody. Thank you. Hey guys. Woo. I'm gonna tell you where I'm from. I'm from New York City. Woo. Woo. Thank you. I, I like come out here. Uh, the last show I did on the East Coast before I came here was at a nursing home uh, in Paramus, New Jersey on a Friday at 3 p.m. in a banquet hall with 70 old folks in the crowd. Caretaker in the middle of the room. I'm on stage trying to do my act. This caretaker has her back to me. She's leaning down, yelling at a patient, going, jokes. He's telling jokes. So you guys are just wonderful. I can do this. I used to be a teacher uh, before this. That was fun. I was an SAT teacher. I took it when it was out of 1600. They added a whole like 800 points. They added an essay. I would have to grade kids' essays that I didn't know. I'd meet with them four times. I didn't help them. But I would like to read you my favorite essay, if you don't mind. Sorry. First line of my favorite essay. Uh, the question was, does diversity make a group stronger? Does diversity make a group stronger? And here's the first line. Many groups come in the same face. <laughs> You guys not hear it back there? I'll read it again. <laughs> Many groups come in the same face. Maybe the kid in A didn't want to broach the subject, you know? So you're gonna do fine. I got fired. I used to teach for ehow.com. You guys know ehow? It's like one of those websites you Google your dumbass question, they want to get the first hit on Google answering it. Then they were like, what if we had videos of teachers answering the dumbass questions for over a minute? They hired me for math. This was a terrible job because it wasn't real math. Like if all of you went home and Googled what number is four, I would have to teach that on camera for over a minute. And four is the quantity of one, two, three, four. That's one more than three. That's one less than four. I mean five, can we do that again? Four is the quantity of one, two, three, four. That's one more than three. That's one less than five. Was that a minute yet? No, 20 seconds to repeat. Four. <laughs> Had to teach this one. How many pounds are in 56 kilograms? It's like, why is everybody asking for 56 kilograms? What product from Europe is everybody ordering that they need the conversion? Then I realized it was just thousands of creepy dudes in this country all on the same Russian mail order bride website. Like on the same profile, like 56 kilograms, is she overweight, is she anorexic, is she a baby? I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, I'd have sex with a baby, you know? I just gotta be prepared, gotta paint the room yellow, gotta get a bin. So he would open a new tab, he would Google it, his dick would still be out, he'd get my video, it's uncomfortable. Didn't like it, here's why I got fired. Last question I ever taught for eHow Math. How to convert an eighth of an ounce into grams. <laughs> you guys laughing, you understand. That's not math. That's intro to drug dealing. And I Googled it myself. The first hit was marijuana.com. I was like, we're not gonna beat marijuana.com here at eHow. And freshman kids who are majoring, majoring in theater who wanna smoke for free are gonna Google marijuana, you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, I said to my director, I was like, this is ridiculous. We're just teaching drug dealers. He's like, I know. He's like, can I fuck with them? He's like, yeah, go for it. So here's how I taught it. There's like a transparent screen in front of me. I was like, one eighth of an ounce equals three. <laughs> Point. Five, 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 five. <laughs> Six, one, zero, seven. <laughs> zero, seven. <laughs> now you will notice that I've taken this to the hundred millionth place. You can round it 
to any decimal before that. You can even round it down to three points! Five, 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 five. But know that if you do, you're stealing from people. That's cool, that's how I got fired from Ehow, though. Uh, I was on Fox News, too. Uh, not, not big, evil, conservative Fox News, Portland, don't worry. Uh, little, like, kindergarten Fox Local News at 10. Uh, I used to live in Queens, I'm walking to my subway in Queens, Fox Local News team stops me, and they're like, excuse me, can we get your opinions on graffiti on the subway? I was like, sure, I got some opinions. Uh, I gotta commute an hour each way every day, you know? I have to look at the same boring advertisements, the same gray rectangles. So when I see some asymmetric shapes, some vibrant color schemes, you know, it's kind of nice, right? Kind of nice to look at art once in a while. Yeah, that night on Fox Local News, I got introduced as the defender of the hip-hop art form. I'm the defender of the hip-hop art form. Pretty sure hip-hop is fucked. I'm kind of a creepy person, by the way, I understand that. Uh, do you guys know what roofies are? It's a bad segue, sorry. Uh, it's a terrible date rape drug. There's another one called GHB. One time I'm at a bar, I'm just waiting for my drink. This girl comes back in from smoking and she's like, I hope no one put GBH in my drink. I'm like I wanted to correct her. I didn't want to be that guy. I knew way too much about date rape drugs. Actually, ma'am, spelled GHB. I should know. I never blink. <laughs> Told that story in Minneapolis, right? Uh, this guy comes up to me after the show. He's like, dude, I thought you were talking about BGH. That's bovine growth hormone. <laughs> you put that in a girl's drink if you want to sleep with a larger woman eventually. <laughs> hey guys, you've been awesome. I'm Charlie Bates. <laughs>